Leaders say they are just tired of retail shops having to lock up entire aisles of their stores. So today they rolled out a new plan to crack down on shoplifters. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Corey Chambers. And I'm Tamson Fidel. The plan also includes a neighborhood uh, retail watch program. Henry Rossoff live in Jackson Heights with more for us. Hi there, Henry. Hi, Tams, and the owner of the food town behind me here in Jackson Heights says he's had to spend about 10% of his annual revenue just upgrading security, hiring security guards, locking things up on a regular basis. So it's costing stores money. Some are going out of business. It's very frustrating for people that have to shop in these stores, and people don't have as many choices these days. They have to go get their groceries, of course. And now the mayor, again, with state leaders and district attorneys, say he has a, a plan to fix all of this. We're a family business, you know, we have to be uh, mindful of our business 24-7. You can really see the sense of pride as Jason Ferreira walks us around one of three grocery stores his family owns in Queens. He explains how it's pained him to have to lock up medicine, batteries, and certain hygiene items at this store due to theft. Plus, at great expense, he's refreshed all his cameras and hired security. Our main concern is our customer. You know, we don't want our shopper to feel that uh, we're doing this directly because of them. You know, people take it personal. Bigger grocery and pharmacy chains these days are locking up almost everything from toothpaste to cleaning supplies to snacks. Those are symbols of surrender and a real indicator of our success is when you see the buzzes come off the doors and you see the products no more locked up. It's with that in mind, Mayor Eric Adams, flanked by NYPD Brass, the state attorney general, and three of the city's five district attorneys, announced a plan to push back against the troubling trend. His team outlined that there are three basic reasons people are stealing. One, they need food. Two, they need a quick score to buy drugs. Or three, they're part of an organized effort to resale stolen items. Do we want to arrest a person who's going out there and he's selling it online because he's doing it as far as a business? Absolutely. But the ones who have substance abuse, we want to be able to say, can we get the person these particular services in lieu of putting them in the criminal justice system? The NYPD reports last year there were about 22,000 arrests for retail theft. 327 people alone accounted for 6,000 of those arrests, many with drug or mental health issues. District attorneys say they will double down on forcing them into treatment to try and break the cycle. We work with not-for-profits throughout the entire city of New York to deliver those services. The city is also helping retailers share images of repeat offenders in real time with one another and the police. Ferreira, who was at the mayor's event, says it's a start. There's a lot more that needs to be done. Uh, we really need to send the message to people that there are consequences to shoplifting. Some of this has already been implemented. The NYPD reports the re reports of retail thefts are down by about 5% this year and arrests up 20%. Some, in, some initial progress being made so far this year in 2023. Live in the Jackson Heights neighborhood of Queens, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News. All right.